Welcome back to Mega Man X. Now we only have three Mavericks left to to destroy before we move on to Sigma's castle. I think it's called just just like Wily's castle in in, in the classic series. I, I'm hoping I can beat these three Mavericks in this episode alone. So yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> Crap! I just punched the mic. <laughs> All right, next up is the squid. Uh, I mean, octopus. Same thing. And this guy's name is Launch Octopus. All right, so there's this game called Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, which is a remake of this game. Now, sadly, Gameplay-wise, it's not as good as this one. It's, it's a remake, and it's... Uh, I don't think it's 2.5D, but it's, it's better graphics. But, they changed a few things so that all of us um, seasoned Mega Man X players wouldn't know how to do it too easy. I mean, maybe easily. Is that it? Um, but that game doesn't... I mean, it doesn't flow as well. Because it's not Super Nintendo Grab. Like, when you... In this game, when you dash and jump, like, this feels fast, right? Feels like I'm progressing pretty damn fast. That's not the case in that game. It was the same with Mega Man X7. They, they decided to mix 2D with 3D in that game, and it felt really slow. Um. Oh, damn it. Oh, I almost died. Maybe I can kill this guy from here. Ah, I am so dead. <laughs> I just died. Wow, that's embarrassing. I've played this game way too many times to die. Well, anyway. There's one really cool thing about Mega Man Mag Maverick Hunter X. And that's that you get to see a few cutscenes. They made cutscenes for that game. Which explains the origins of Mega Man X. You get to see how Dr. Light creates X. And puts him in a capsule and tells him that... He can't awaken just yet. He's gonna have to wait a while. Because the world isn't ready for something as advanced as he is. And you also get to see why Sigma turns evil. Okay, so see these things? These bombs that drop down? I didn't show you. Maybe I should show you, show you right here. This thing. You can ride these up. So... That's the first one. This is the first vortex, or whatever they're called, that you encounter. And if you ride it up, you find the health recovery. So, when you do it all the way over here, you see these bombs dropping. There's a boat right here. I think it's weak to this weapon. Yeah. Once you destroy it, destroy it, it falls down. And it destroys the floor. This we couldn't cross. I mean, get down here before. We had to cross it. Now, thanks to this, we can go down to the secret area right here. We gotta find this. Uh, uh, find. We gotta fight the snake thingy. Now you can shoot his head. You can also, sh you can also shoot the tail. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. Ah, come on, just die. He's probably weak against some weapon. I just don't know which one. Ah, come on, just die. You're not doing any damage at all. Okay, so he's dead. I killed him with the tail, and the rest of his body acts like almost a fuse or something. 
So the explosion goes all the way to his head. And that's when he dies. If you kill his head, that's not gonna happen. Obviously. Anyway, that's how you get the heart tank. Now the rest of these are useless. So don't bother. See? Nothing up here. And now we get to the part where it's mandatory to fight this guy. Now, I've seen speedruns of this. If you use this, if you charge it up... I didn't time it right. If you time it right, he dies in one hit. Maybe if I do the tail and the head at the same time. Yeah, he died. Look at that. Woo! So, Maverick Hunter X. You get to see the cutscene where Dr. Kane finds him, but there's a, they, they messed up in that cutscene. <coughs> I mean, one of the cutscenes. Because in, in one of the cutscenes, Dr. Kane dies. But that doesn't make sense because that when that happens, that takes place before the game. And in, in the Mega Man X2, he's alive. <laughs> so, and, and the Ma Maverick Hunter X came out way after X2. I don't I don't know why this they decided to kill him off instead. So this guy is weak against the shield we got from the armor dildo. This guy is invulnerable when he does that. The shield bounces once on the walls, which can be useful. Like right there. By the way, I will show you what everything does when you charge them up. I don't usually do it when I play the game. I don't need to. Only sometimes. I like some of the weapons I do, but <laughs> definitely not all of them. But I am, I am gonna show it. So, the cool thing about Maverick Hunter X is all the cutscenes. You get to see the origins of of this game. I mean, I mean the, the entire series. You don't only get to read about him; you get to see it. So that, that that's pretty damn cool. Now it's time for this weird dude. Check out his name. Yeah. Boomer Kavangagaga. I believe it's pronounced Kuwanger, which is ridiculous, but whatever. But the stage is pretty damn cool. It's it's completely vertical. Well, not exclusively vertical, but for the most part. The song isn't too bad either. I didn't address this. I will when I get back to that stage, because I am going to have to return to it. Uh, but it has to do with the theme of it. Ah, damn you. Okay, so these lasers are pretty damn cool. They don't hurt you. But they alert these guys and they shoot lasers at you. So you gotta be quick. Alright. Turtle. A giant turtle. Ha! You got nothing, bitch. There we go. One, two. <laughs> Since he does it off screen, I mean, the, the, his, his ammo, ammo is off screen. They disappear once I get up. So if you charge the shield thingy that the octopus was weak to, you create this shield. And a lot of enemies die as soon as they touch it. Some, some enemies are too strong. So, yay! That's all, all three of them, so far. Uh, some enemies are too strong, so that's good. Those enemies are just gonna make the shield disappear instead. Uh, come on. Uh. Damn. 
And bam. Bam. No, what? Now, uh, what else is there to say about the lore? Uh, don't exactly know. Well, okay. So even though Zero was created before X was, X is still the only one who has that limitless potential. Zero is just the way he is. I mean, he's not going to improve in any way. So, there's a heart tank up there. There are two ways to grab that thing. One is to beat the boss of this stage, get the boomerang, come back here, and then use it to grab the heart tank. The other way is, if you have the arm upgrade, and you charge the ice beam to maximum, this happens. So the platform is gonna move forward after a, a couple of seconds. And if you, if you dash and jump at the right time, you can reach this heart tank. So at the moment I have enough, I mean I have as much health as I have weapon energy. But there are still two heart tanks to find. So the which means that the, the, the boss, the bosses of the game have four more pellets than I have weapon energy. Oh damn it, I just wasted. Well, whatever. Oh damn it. Now, after this stage, we are gonna be able to go back and grab everything we've missed so far, except for that final thingy. Thank you. Uh, die. Alright, forget him. Hey! Boss time! Now this guy is weak to... This thing that we got from Launch Octopus. The homing torpedo. Homie torpedo, ha <laughs> Now this is exactly like Cutman, except that he can teleport, and he can dash too. So he still hasn't used his boomerang just yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just like Cutman. Bye. You're dead. Now we get that boomerang, which is super useful. Bam! Uh, we don't need to see this. Alright, as I've said before, we need to go back to two stages. One is this one. So as you saw, some of the stages have three secrets and Oh, come on. Just die. Um, the, the, what, what was it called? Slay Mammoth? He also had three secrets on his stage. And I believe... Is it the, the one that's left? The chameleon that has three as well? Which means that some of the stages only have two secrets. I mean, one secret. So, all in all, there are 16 secrets to find. Well, 15. Because the leg upgrade in this stage isn't exactly a secret. But upgrade, let, let's just call them upgrades, right? So, this is where the leg upgrade was. And then we gotta find the heart tank. Which we couldn't grab before. And you get to see why right now. I mean, not right now, at this second, but <laughs> in a few seconds you get to see it. So we gotta use this suit. And we jump and then jump out of it to reach this place. 
Now that thing is made of made out of ice. We need the fire to destroy it. And that's where the heart tank is. Cool. We did it. Now we just hit exit. And there we go. Now we gotta go back to this stage. And I've talked about this as well. Now that we have the boomerang, we can grab the secret in this one. Now listen to this song. How cool is that? This is by far the best song in the game. So now we went down that ladder instead of going up. And look at that. Oh damn it. So when you use this boomerang, if you just fire, it goes forward and then up and back again. Once you grab it again, you get back that the, the weapon energy. You see that? This is not what Cuffman's weapon does. So that's pretty damn neat. If you jump and shoot. While you're on the way up, if you shoot during that time, it's still gonna go up. Now I'm not getting the weapon energy back because I'm not catching the boomerang. It's hitting the enemy. But if you shoot while you're on the way down, that's how you reach that sub tank. Ah, oh, so good! And it starts over. Such a good song. Okay, so far we have everything. Now, a few stages have several secrets, which means that some stages only have one. I believe this guy only had this, the heart tank, right? This stage has three of them. This stage only has the heart tank. Right? Yeah. And the other ones have two each. Okay, so final Maverick. Well, not the final Maverick, but final Maverick of the ones we get to choose from. Sting Chameleon. <laughs> now, this guy is definitely a pushover once you have his weakness. But without it, you will die several times before you're able to beat him unless you have well all the sub tanks four <laughs> it's super difficult without without the weakness this song isn't too bad either oh damn oh yeah so Here's another one. If you don't beat Octopus's stage before coming here, this water won't be here. And it's it's not necessary, but it helps that there is water down here. I have done it without the water. If you charge up the ice weapon and create the platform, ride it and then dash and jump at the right time, you can reach this thing. And that's the final heart tank. Because you jump farther, farther uh, when there's water, right? Right? I mean, you weigh less in water. But if there isn't water here, you can't reach it thanks to the ice platform. But on the way back, you will die. You can't reach it. But that's fine. I mean, once you grab the heart tank, you have it. So you die and start the stage from the beginning. So that's the heart tank, right? Oh, that's right. This stage only has two secrets. Because we have we have all sub tanks. So, so that's the heart tank. Now if you go up here. I believe this thing is weak against the boomerang. There's a mini boss up here. And his head is is the only weakness. So you gotta be precise when you fire.
Yeah, see, he's already starting to smoke. Ah. Yeah, he did. He's done all his moves. If he grabs you, he's gonna pull you in and then launch you against the wall, and you lose health that way. Uh, um, in addition to touching it, like I just did. Okay, so he's dead. Now I need weapon energy. Because <laughs> this is what the chameleon is weak to. Anyway, here's the final uh, suit upgrade. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. So that's the spirit I need. Now this is the only one where he can't show you what it does. I mean, obviously. But look at that, once you have all four suit upgrades, he looks pretty damn cool. Right? I mean, the shoulders in particular look way better. So I, I prefer this look or no suit upgrade at all, where he's all blue. Because it kind of looks ridiculous when some of it is, is, what is that, white or silver? And other parts are just plain blue. I mean, not parts. I mean, body parts. I mean, some of it is still blue. Okay, cool. Got some weapon energy. But I think I'm gonna need more. Yay! That's gonna be enough. Okay, cool. I'm fine. Ha! Yay, I'm back up to nine lives, right? Yeah. Oh look, a mech suit! Oh, some health. Yeah, one upside about this mech suit is that you don't get... You don't lose health when you get hit. The suit takes damage instead. So once you find... So if I find more health upgrades, even if I've been hit, they still go to my sub tanks. Like that one. That was a big one. Oh, so with the mech suit, your attacks are stronger if you if you dash and, and punch. Just like the regular buster. Okay, boss time. Last of the... Um, what's it called? Optional <laughs> um, Mavericks. So take a look at this. If you don't have this weapon, he's gonna fire at you and he's gonna turn invisible and his attacks are pretty damn strong. But with this weapon, every time you shoot him, he falls down and jumps back up. So this is what you do. Fire, turn around. Fire, turn around. Fire. Turn around. No boss is as big of a pushover as this guy when you have his weakness. Some of them are pushovers like the, the, the gorilla with the ice. But this guy is even easier when you have his weakness. So there we go. And we're going to end this with, with a cutscene. After you see what, what, what the weapon does. Which we skip. Finally, we found Cygnus Fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. I kind of gave him a, a more evil voice than I did in the first episode. That wasn't intentional. That's what Sigma looks like. All right, that was all of the. Eight robot, I mean Mavericks, the optional, I mean choosable stages. I guess that would be the right way to put it. So in the next episode, we are gonna fight Sigma. Is that gonna be? Is there only gonna be one episode left? You know what? The ending is a few minutes. So yeah, this is gonna have to be two stages. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> damn it, there's gonna have to be two more episodes of this. All right. If you find this interesting so far, 
Make sure you watch the next episode, and I will see you then. Thank <laughs> you.